Hi, I'm Hallie from Future Frogmen. Today we're going to talk about how ocean acidification threatens coral reefs. Ocean acidification is caused by the carbon dioxide humans release into the environment through fossil fuel combustion and deforestation. When carbon dioxide enters the ocean, it reacts with water in a series of chemical reactions that lower the ocean's pH. pH is a measure of acidity ranging from 0 to 14. The lower the value, the higher the acidity. About one-fourth of the carbon dioxide humans have released since the start of the Industrial Revolution in 1760 has been absorbed by the ocean. Over that time period, the ocean's pH has declined by 0.1 units on average. Since the pH scale is logarithmic, this change represents a 30% increase in acidity. The ocean can absorb and store so much carbon because it is deep and covers about 70% of the Earth's surface. The carbon dioxide absorbed by the ocean is converted into organic carbon by phytoplankton. As the organic carbon passes through the food chain, most of it is converted back into carbon dioxide. However, a small fraction is transported to depth where it is sequestered from the atmosphere for months to millennia. Most marine species have adapted to their local environmental conditions and cannot tolerate wide shifts in carbon dioxide or pH. Acidification is of particular concern for coral reefs because their structures are built from the calcium carbonate skeletons of corals. Calcium carbonate dissolves faster when exposed to decreasing pH. For this reason, laboratory studies have shown that acidification conditions reduce the ability of reef building corals to produce their skeletons. Furthermore, studies on the Great Barrier Reef have documented large declines in net calcification or skeleton growth over time. Observational studies have also shown that acidified coral reefs have decreased diversity, decreased structural complexity, and increased algal growth, all of which limit the recruitment of juvenile corals. Shifts in coral community structure can negatively impact many other species, including fish, that depend on these reefs for food and shelter. In addition to being important to countless marine species, coral reefs are very important for coastal humans. They provide defense against tropical storms by buffering shorelines against waves and flooding. And at least 400 million people rely on coral reef fisheries for food and income. Many tropical coastal communities rely on tourism which requires healthy, intact coral reefs to attract visitors from around the world. Unfortunately, coral reefs are also being threatened by ocean warming, destructive fishing practices, pollution, and invasive species, all of which are a result of human activities. Without careful management of human activities, entire coral reefs may be lost which will put the million species and hundreds of millions of people that rely on their existence at risk. So, what can you do to help? Reduce your carbon footprint by driving less, flying less, using less energy in your home, and making sustainable consumer choices. Find out what your local government, businesses, and schools are doing to reduce fossil fuel energy and pressure them to divest pension fund investments in oil and gas companies. Educate others about the negative impact of carbon dioxide emissions on marine life. Support agencies, nonprofits, and research institutions that are working to study and mitigate these impacts. If you want to learn more about climate change and species survival, check out futurefrogman.org and look for us on these platforms 
at Future Frogmen. Don't forget to subscribe and check out these suggested videos.